Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi who's here, the Crypto Pi. And today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin guys and purely Bitcoin. Because, you know, it has been a few days that of turbulence, right? So if we start on the one day here, you can see I put my downtrend here, guys. And we broke that, right? And so even if we go all the way down here again at 73 then we're still technically above this downtrend line, right guys? As long as we don't fall back in there, we're good to go. That would just simply mean a higher low. However, um, we could very well potentially just bounce here. Why? Because it's the 0.5, it's the, the, you know, the bottom of the one day cloud. It, it, just so many things, guys. We have all this price action here and we also had it before. So, yeah, it's, it's very possible that we bounce here. We were oversold. We're bouncing now a little bit. We, I mean, will we see the complete bounce already and like make new highs? Who knows, guys? But what can also happen is that we make an A and then a B, right? So keep that in mind if we do bounce right now. Um, I mean, that's just purely just looking at it technically right like we had a big one then I do I, I simply expect to ABC guys um, and I mean this could be an A and B and a potential C however this could also be a complete A and then a B and then a C so um, yeah just uh, look for that guys um, I know that we crossed bearish on the EMAs crossing down however we're still in the cloud guys cloud just basically means neutral okay so we need to pop back out again above or above this 9.4 like these highs were 9387 around that right we need to get above the 9.4k and then we're good to go so that is what we need to focus on guys and i know the altcoins have been having a dip because if bitcoin has a dip your altcoins will just dip further you know that, that's just how it goes so you know um just you need to get used to this guys i know a lot of you guys are new to trading and some of you aren't right but if you're new to trading dips are part of the whole trading just the whole market set like the whole market waves right a market doesn't simply only go up or simply only goes down uh the long-term downtrend like i said is still broken so what can we expect next guys well i'm ready for two situations okay so if we break lower than this 0.5 then i see next support around that 618 which is you know the perfect level around here wait i'll uh, i'll mark it for you guys right around here i know it's red i'll make it green don't worry um we'll make this green or so we could, could potentially bounce there or we go up right now for this b wave or perhaps the whole, whole ABC is done, but I, I, it's hard to think that way. So it could potentially just bounce back to this 236 around there and then have a C either make a double bottom here or have it go lower to the 618 area. So I'll, you know, I'll put the most bearish situation here that I can think of right now, which is that we go back down to the 618 uh, after a bounce. So yeah. Um, that's how I see it guys I mean could we could we bounce less than this high yeah it's possible I mean you have to keep that in mind as well so if we put a Fibonacci from the top here and then to this bottom right this is our bottom for now then we also have the 382 right here around that $8,800 level so it's either the 88 or the 0.5 okay so Keep that in mind, guys. In between $8,800 and $9,000 is where the bounce will most likely go. So I have it a little bit too high here, I think. Um, we'll put it just just in this middle. Okay, just in this middle. Um, so, yeah, in between $8,800 and $9,000, we need to break back above that $9,000 if we want to, you know, tell ourselves that we're bullish. Now, I know with consensus coming up and great speakers, guys, I mean, there's just a lot of great people there, right? There's, um, if, if we, we'll go over it in, in a second, because uh, some, you know, beautiful people in my Telegram, they're all talking, guys, you should definitely join, um, about who's going to speak there, etc. And, 
you know, just it's, it's amazing, guys. It's it's amazing to have a community and that we can all talk about crypto because that's what we're all interested in, right? We're interested in crypto and we're interested in the gains. So, um, yeah, that's basically uh, what what we do here, guys. Is we trade, but we're also very interested in all the technology behind it. So, um, I think it's a, it's a revolution, guys. Right? It's it's the fourth re revolution that that we're having here. So. Um, it's just gonna change the world so that, that's how I see it guys so yeah eighty eight hundred and nine thousand dollars is what I'm looking at on the Bitcoin um, if we look at the one hour I'm just going to look right so if this was on the one hour the a wave like I said in my previous video one two three four five we had the five then we have the B and then the C which is a B C and then we have potential we're potentially done guys uh, if we take a look here and we take this top here and then we have this oh, first bottom a oh, little top here and then we have the one-to-one -one. it barely reached but it, it, it didn't but I still count this as a three guys then a four and then a five which is in between the 1.414 and 1.618 and it's close to that point five so I kind of say it's done and uh, we should see just an up wave guys to this level around here and then from there uh, we'll have to see if we break this B or if we go back down so um, yeah just uh, look forward to that and always plan your trades guys always just be one step ahead all right we'll be one step ahead so you know what's going on all right so you're not being surprised by what's going on like, you know always try to at least plan on what's going to happen i know we cannot predict the future but we just have probabilities all right and uh, that that's all we can go by is probabilities so um yeah if the two hour comes back up here we also have the 55 ema here around that 8800 level like i said like the 38.2 is here um so yeah look forward to that three hour is also the 55 ema it's around that 8900 area which is once again, you know, in between the $8,800 and $9,000, guys. So really, $8,800 and $9,000, that is the area to look out for right now, guys. So um, in short, guys, I think that we are done with this downtrend for now. And we should see an update tomorrow. And from there, we need to just watch and see what happens, right? I mean, that's pretty much how, how it is. Uh, we were very oversold on on like multiple time frames three hour four hour six hour 12 well 12 hour not really but uh on the six hour even so yeah we should see a bounce guys a relatively good bounce but we do have some resistance here as well if you just look on the rsi so on the rsi on about 43 on the six hour we have some resistance but um I, I think that we can make this A to B move if this is an ABC still, right? I mean, this could potentially already be done, but if, if you look at the bigger scale of things, I honestly think that we need to get an A and a proper B and then a C, and then we can do the next wave. However, with consensus uh, coming up, it could be a big catalyst, like it says here, for the next wave up, guys. And <laughs> you don't want to miss that. All right, we're going to trade a lot, guys. I'm telling you, a lot. All right, we're going to trade all the time if there's a new wave. Because the wave from last year, I was still very new. I mean, not not super new. I mean, I, you know, I made most of my mistakes in, in 2016. But uh, after one year of trading, guys, to be honest, you're not all that good yet. So, you know, in 2017, I was, I was a little better. But now I'm two years trading after me. So, you know... E you just get more confident in yourself and you take trades more often and that really helps guys you know just take trades often don't go too big and always have your risk reward planned and you know go from there I mean that's all we can do guys just try to do our best all right so yeah guys I mean that's pretty much it for this video and if you're not in my telegram yet Join up with the CryptoPies blog where you can ask me any questions, you can ask other people questions, and it's just a great chat box to be in, right? I hope to see you guys here. Um, you know, just join up. I'll hope to see you there. Also, guys, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my videos, post about upcoming 
uh, ICOs as well. However, right now, Bitcoin is still not all that bullish. I mean, when we are bullish, guys, there's definitely going to be more ICOs because uh, ICOs can give you top gains. But if you buy into a bear, well, it's not bear right now. It's kind of neutral. It can also kind of give you neutral returns, right? So, um, yeah. It's at the same time, right, guys? So ICOs can give you super good returns, but it can also give you terrible returns. So it's very risky, and you kind of want to get in either on the pre-sale, on the private sale, or even before that in the seed round. Hey, thanks, ICO Moon Tracker, for that. You know uh, that group and stuff. So uh, yeah, that that was cool. Um, but yeah, uh, you want to get in r before the rest of the people, guys. And if you get into a normal ICO, it needs to be bullish in order for you to get some bullish returns. So yeah, guys, um, both telegrams will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.